Man, I'm so excited. Haven't been to the spot for probably three or four years. And because it got ruined by a big flood, and we're going to go and check it out. Ah! 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 Cars come here, look. All right, let's gonna have a look. Hopefully, yeah, definitely has gone back to its old direction, the spot. Oh, don't get caught in my gum boots already. All the water crest down there sprouting already now. Just need a bit of water to come over here, and then this water crest will be getting some nice nutrients running water. It's so dry. Oh. I feel nice to see one. You can probably eat your kai off that your plate. Look up here, we can look over to where I thought there was some watercress up here. With my hunter gathering eyes, I think I've sorted a patch, but it looks like I'm wrong. I'm gonna grab some of these and take these home because you can't actually grow it in dirt, it's growing like in dirt now, so hopefully they'll all survive. Take some of these home. See, nice little, nice deep root system in those. Yeah, this stuff is pretty hardy. Right, we'll get a few more. What a good idea. We'll plant those later on. Hey, watch out! Walk into my blooming watercress. Got a few more. They increase, be nice and salads if you grow it at home in the dirt. We'll grab a few, might even get some away. If I get enough, there's heaps here. Four there, look, there's heaps. Right, we'll pick a few of these, we're going to put them in a bag, and then we'll have a think about what we're going to do next. But at least from this spot, I'm getting some land crest. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. That should be enough. Okay. So welcome back, here we are, a little journey and we have come to the other spot, the old faithful spot that most times provides a kai and I haven't been here since the last watercress boil up before lockdown. But what's happened to it? So let's have a look guys and see if there's much there. Looks like it's been a bit, a bit um, decimated a bit. What's happened here? Has somebody really picked it? Yeah, somebody's really picked it. Look. Somebody's picked a bit of that watercress there. Somebody's really picked stuff there. Yes, somebody has been picking here. Look. Some from over here, I'll get some from here. But yeah, this is where I came, I got a big, about two big bags from here last time. But yeah. 
Oh, good. I rubber. Cold already, not even wet. There's some nice little 4K water crest there for you. 4K, 4K water crest. 4K. So we'll pick all the stuff here. It's nice water crest. You can always get a feed out here. Very lucky. Saw that bloody weed there, you gotta wash it up when you get home. Normally I'll use my hand and ch -ch 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 under the water and into the bag. Lovely watercress there, 4K watercress. Here at our secret spot. So there is our four bags of watercress. Look. One, two, three and four. Chocolate block. Chocolate block in the old pack and spin bags. And we are off. That would have taken, what, about an hour? Half an hour? I might grab a bag of these. Are they ready? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's sweet. Yum. Look at them all. Apples for miles. Look at them all. That's sick. Spray free and organic as these things have been here for this tree has been here for a few years it'd be an old original tree this one there's a few apple trees around this area different apples the last watercress ball up i did there was another variety of apples that we got it's just chocolate block full of them look at them all Way, way too many, they don't want to go to waste. No one else is going to pick them. Ready? Rubber. And probably got about 10 kilos of apples there. Oh no, five kilos of apples. Picked them in about four minutes. These things haven't been in the cool store or anything like that. They just grow on the side of the road and awesome eh oh, right. We've got 50 kilos in here. Yeah, oh, it's a bike sign, but. Uh, hello. I'm just gonna find my bag, watercress bag, it'll do. It'll do right there. Enough for my dear. Hello. 
anybody home? <laughs> I cut down a little Putakawa tree about that sort of thickness there about a year and a half ago it's been drying there and I just cut up the other week so we're going to be adding this Putakawa into our Oz pig here we'll try and give it a bit of a maybe a Putakawa infused what do you call boil up Lucky. I saw Mike get back and save today. It was in the car park, we met up, had a bit of a chat for a while, keeping our distance. And he had two bags in the back of his truck. He had a bag of meat with some wild pork, venison, and some lamb, and also a bag of his kumara that he grew at home. There's all Mike's kumara. Look at that. So Oh, and also, he had a come come on there that he grew at home. So we're going to have that for our boil up tonight. The watercress, Mike's come come all, and some of Mike's home growing kumara. Garlic, some bay leaves, salt. So we've got all the meat in. Give it a couple of hours. So there we go. We just sit back here now and <coughs> enjoy the afternoon sun going down. Sitting here by the Oz Peak. Smelling that smoke. But you can also, amongst that smoke smell, it smell that pork cooking nicely in that pot of water with some garlic and Oh man, it smells nice. Yep, so we're just going to sit down here and enjoy the afternoon sun and sit by the fire and just smell that smell coming out of that pot. Mm. Uh, green tea, see? Yep, not bourbon, green tea. I'm going to take the meat out, put it into a tray, and I'm going to add the vegetables, and I'm going to put the meat back on top, just like the last ball I did, the cabbage one. And have the meat on top, but I think that meat is ready to come out, and it smells delicious. The smell from that and the putakawa. Yeah, boy. What up, Mike's kumara orange in the in the purple kumara there. And there's Kamo Kamo. Under here we've got some rewhite. These are sausages there. These are pork ones. And over here is our awesome, tasty, sweet, fresh, free watercress. And all that is going to go into that pot. Yep. Help 
Hutakawa. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I reckon it should be cooked. We are here by ourselves, by the fire. No one else wants to come out, sit by the fire, and enjoy it, the heat. Beautiful evening. The sun's just going down, and they're inside watching TV. Right, first thing I'm going to get is a kamo kamo. Put it in there. Some tortati. Oh, oh, yeah, these are pork ones from the old uh, New World, these ones. And the old, oh, look at this, but the DIY are falling apart. A bit of watercress on there. Mm, and a bit of the old. Oh, look at that, it's just like falling apart off the bone. And look on the bottom, there's a bit of henu on there. That's yeah. gone. Put it down there. Ooh, look at that. So, this is my first meal all day. It's now 7 o'clock, so I've been eating for 20 hours. 20 hours. No, I haven't eaten since an hour, two hours ago. Okay. Okay, a bit more water to clear here on there, and that, that. Yeah. bit of a taste test on that one. But we might eat it outside. How's that? <laughs> and cut on there. And after we go off camera, I'm going to add some tomato sauce. It's really nice and warm here, so uh, yeah, it's my first meal all day, and I'm looking forward to it. Here we go. And a watercress. Mmm. It's delicious. It's really nice. Far out. Mmm. 
much. Come on, come on. Mmm, but you fall hot. Mmm, that's nice. I'm going to come, come on and board up for a long time. Do it on, mate. Mmm. Right, so there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed this board up. Mmm. It's so tasty. We've saved about four hours worth of power cooking on here. Mmm. That's so nice, guys. Okay, I'll show you once more. One more taste test and I'll mm. talk to you. game a bit on the old board up so this would be the best board up I've ever tasted. Mm. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll take care out there and I'll see you all on the next video. Catch you guys later. Bye.